Hello, my sisters and brothers in Christ. As we continue in this faith journey, we recognize that going back to the basics are so helpful for us that sometimes when we come in for worship and prayer, um, there are just things that are around us that we see, we look at day after day, and we don't always have the understanding or the meaning behind them. And very often when people come into St. William and the Abbot, they have that sense of like, oh, I feel like I'm in a boat or the ark. And what was in the ark when we go to the scriptures? All this, the animals. And we know that animals are present throughout the scriptures, but there are also, uh, many animals are used as signs and symbols for God or the church or for our faith. Even when we stand here, we look behind just above the ambry where the oils are, is the image of the dove, the Holy Spirit coming down. Um, the dove is such a powerful, powerful image, but we know that we're at St. William the Abbot, and we have the wolf, the wolf that helped St. William build uh, the, the abbey uh, in this story, that great and powerful story. We know that the images of fish show who, who Jesus is. So we have doves, we have lambs, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. These are all pretty familiar animals that are used to tell the, the, the faith story. Well, there's one that might not be, or there's two that might not be as familiar to us. One of them is the pelican. And maybe you've seen images of the pelican either in our stained glass or stained glass um, uh, windows in different churches. So there's an image of of the pelican kind of piercing its its breast and then feeding its young. Or you might see it on a vestment like this where once again the pelican is there piercing itself and feeding its young. And what does that show? That's like the sign and the symbol of what Jesus did. He was pierced on the cross for us and he offered himself. He offers himself even in the body and the blood um, to, to feed us. Now, when we come to realize that originally when you saw these images, uh, that's what, what, what people people thought. But in, in time, we've realized that, just so you know, that the pelican actually has like a pouch on its chest, and very often it has a red beak, so it would reach down and it would pull things out of that and feed the young. But it had that image of it piercing itself and, um, and, and feeding uh, it, its own young, just like, again, Jesus does. He offers, he's pierced on the cross, and he feeds us with his body and blood. Another interesting uh, image or uh, Im of, uh, of an animal is, is the peacock. And so this is a, a kind of a new one for me because I've seen the peacock in whether it be images of uh, the stained glass windows or around altars. But in the early time, Greeks would, would the Greek Christians had the sense that peacocks, the, the flesh wouldn't like decay. It wouldn't die right away. And so it was that sense of eternal life, like our body is, is resurrected, body blood, uh, our bodies are resurrected completely. And so there was that kind of connection and image of those early Christians of believing that. The other thing too is when the peacock would kind of show um, its feathers, there's the, the, uh, the image of, of like an eye that was there. It's like the eye of God, like overseeing and seeing all of us. And so once again, those are uh, like some of the more familiar animals out there, like whether it be um, a dove or a fish, we're more familiar with them, but like the peacock, that, that image of the flesh not rotting away, uh, just like when Jesus rose from the dead, his body was restored, or that image of the eye on the feathers, that God is watching over us with that tenderness and love, or even with the, uh, the pelican piercing itself. Again, for some of us, we have a sense of what those, those, those stories are, but they help us to, in that journey of faith. And the beauty of how animals can be present, accompany us, and accompany us, and tell us the story of our faith. God bless you.